Yes, 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 yes. Yes, yes, yes. How's everyone doing? Here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go. Man, I don't know what's going on, man. I'm trying to get something planned, something going. Huh? How's everyone doing? Land! Ooh, I see you, Land, baby! What's going on? Hey, that's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. Look. Look. Yeah, man. Yeah, so, hey, it's on and popping, baby. Listen, we're glad to be here. This is Thursday. It's Let's Talk About It, like we always do around this time. Promising you something great right now. You know, you could have been anywhere else in the world, but you're here with us, and we love it. We just love it, love it, love it. This is JF Investment, empowered by Upskill Trading Academy. I want to give a special shout out before we begin. One, Ms. Landa, she's in the building ASAP. I'm talking about she's early. I want to give a shout out to the sponsors. Miss Landa in the building. I want to give a shout out to YouTube TV. This is IG I'm talking about. YouTube TV. Go ahead and follow him, man. I'm at his setup. I got to give a shout out to him, man. I'm at his setup. You see what's going on. I mean, you see what's going on with the microphones. I can put two microphones up here. You hear me? Two microphones. We're going to chill. We're going to just chill with one. But it's Jeff Investment Power Upskill Trading Academy. It's Let's Talk About It. We're here every Thursday bringing you a special guest in the building. Hopefully, he knows what to do and get on because it's on, you know? And my special guest, all side, all, all things side hustle. Listen, if you didn't get a chance to look him up, IG, Facebook, YouTube, uh, TikTok, mad followers, man. Mad followers, you know what I'm saying? And so, hey, I had to get him on. I call, I, 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 hey, I, I put my fingers to the, to the, to the test. And, you know, we got this thing connected, man. He should be trying to get on right now. I don't know if he's done an IG Live before, but he's trying. He's trying. So we're going to bring him out. You know, we're going to bring him out. And hopefully everybody had a great week. Look, wipe your feet on the rug, man. Show some love. Listen, wipe your feet on the rug when you come through over here and show some love, baby. It's all love and you could have been anywhere else, but you're here with us. And that's a blessing for sure. Hopefully you have a great week. You know, hopefully everything is great. Hopefully everything is fine and dandy. And the subject, you already know the subject matter, man, side hustle versus versus small business, you know? And and who better to talk about it than your boy? He about to get on, you know what I'm saying? He's about to get on, and it's about to be a beautiful thing. Uh, so as we wait for him to get on, you know, we shout out, keep shout out our sponsors, man, tax, BB Tax Connection. You need, hey, Lubin, what's up, man? Good evening, man. Listen, you need your taxes done. You holla at the tax professor, all right? Period. Because you just can't get your taxes done. You got to sit down with someone who's going to educate you on your taxes. You understand what I'm saying? Point blank, period. And that's what you need. Not no fly by nighter. Shout out to Pat Supermarket, the best fried chicken in the United States. If you know what I'm talking about, man, you need to go on, go on, go on to Little Haiti, man, and taste some of that fried chicken Pat Supermarket. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to all my age. Hey, shout out to all my investors out there shout out to all my small business owners out there shout out to all my entrepreneurs out there shout out to all my nine to fivers out there it's all love and you know we're gonna break some bread right now so hey let me find out where this gentleman is at bro i think he just stepped in the building i think he just stepped in the building we about to have some fun we about to light it up man i'm about to we about to have some fun all right we about to go we about to have some fun all right fun 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 so you got the request to come up there that is the man right there. You got a request to come up. Press that. That uh. That okay. So, so it's a square. It looked like a, a bit. Uh. It's a square. It's the it's the cross inside the square. All right. The cross inside the square. You got to tap that. It's supposed to be a, a video camera. Tap that and you'll come on board. All right. For show, sure, man. For show. Sure. Listen. The moment y'all been waiting for. The moment y'all been waiting. You like my clothes? You like my shirt? Yeah, yeah, I know you like my shirt. You like my shirt? I was supposed to get up and show you, you know what I'm saying? I was supposed to get up and show you what's going on, but it's all good. Hey, what's up? What's up, Dad? Hey, what's, Nothing. what's going on, Happy man? To Happy, be you're Happy you're aboard. Happy you're aboard. Hey, I'm so glad I connected with you, man. I'm so glad that you um you 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 was on board to join us, man. It just breaks some bread. It breaks some bread. Like you've been doing 
first and foremost, you know, it's, it's nothing new for you. Um, let everybody know about you, man. Let everybody know um, a little bit about that and, and what's going on. <laughs> so pretty much been doing this YouTube thing for about two, three years now. Been doing this business thing for about eight years now. Right now, I'm standing in Atlanta. Um, anything you could think of that has to do with anything business related, side hustles, stock markets, crypto, just owning businesses in general. I do all of that business consulting. Uh, and I do some other stuff on the side, but that's generally my main focus as far as what I provide content wise, whether it be Instagram, TikTok, YouTube, Twitter, any of the above. You can find my content there, and it's going to always have good information about businesses. Right, and you right. And, you know, I had the privilege to go on there, many, many of the platforms you have, man. And I was I was taken aback. And I was like, man, you know, my team and I, we, we chose the right guy to break bread with this information right here. And um, I just love how you're breaking bread and, and, and giving out information uh, without 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 holding back. It's a beautiful thing, man. And, and hey, if this is not allowing you to know the man to keep going that you'll be a notice even though you think you're not you know what i mean even i know you are because you know you have so much people that that tunes in but it's it's just i hope it's a good feeling man and let you know man hey man people are out there watching man it's a beautiful thing man oh yeah yeah, yeah definitely Ooh, you, more people are heard the you better heard it so is. Listen, we're gonna dive right in man I, no whole bars man listen side hustle versus small right. business man side hustle versus small business. What's your take on that? I say it depends on where you at in life and what's your schedule looking like. If you work in a regular nine to five job and you can throw some side hustles in there, then do that. But don't take on too much of what you're doing and making it construed with what your schedule is. So depending on where you at in life, that would decide if you should start side hustles or a small business because I've known people who have picked up small businesses after work their nine to five. Their nine to five drains them. They can't do all that they need to do. And they end up failing within the first couple of months or stop working on their business within the first couple of months because they just can't do it. They don't have the time. So that's why I always tell people, if you're working a nine to five, start off doing a couple of side hustles first build up some revenue so you're not so dependent on your job that way you won't have to use your job as your main income then transition over to starting you like a little small business that way you have more time because you're not so dependent right and I'm, I'm taking i'm taking you saying that because starting a business takes so much it, it, it demands so much money right of course okay so okay so yep. right because the Ooh, you got to have money for ooh, maybe inventory. You got to have money for maybe employees. You got to have money for those rainy days. You got to have money, so much money. So I get it. I get it. I love it. That's great advice. I get it. I get it. Yep. And the time is just mm. important too. Now, now, a lot of people think that I've done business consulting where I think, well, people will talk to me and then think they can just throw some money at it and not put in a time in it. And they crash just as hard as somebody who doesn't have the money, but is putting in the time. So you got to have a balance of both. Agreed. When starting Agreed. To solve Agreed. Things. Listen, Dunn and Bradstreet. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Dunn and Bradstreet. Yeah. My goodness. Not too many people talk about or know about. Thus, they, thus not knowing about, they don't talk about Dunn and Bradstreet. It's like, it's, it's like, Yep. ABC to some people, but some people is like X, Y, Z, man. Let us know about a Dun & Bradstreet. Break us off. So Dun & Bradstreet is basically like a creditor. Like you have your personal credit, you have Experian, Equifax. And what a lot of people don't know is you have Experian business and you have Equifax business, but Dun & Bradstreet is worldwide. Like Experian and Equifax, that only pertains to America. There are businesses worldwide that acknowledge Duns and Bad Street when you're creating a credit report. So when you first start a business, you know, you want to go and register a you a Duns number is a non-digit number that's basically like your social security number for your business. And then you use that number and they'll create a credit file for you. After you made three different credit files, like payments, 
onto your credit report, that'll create you a Paydex number and that will create your credit report. So say for instance, you wanna go get like a grant or say you in like in an industrial business and you wanna get like a government funded like contract, they'll check your DUNS number to see if you're eligible for that type of stuff. Even Apple, like a lot of people don't know, you need a DUNS number to create mm -hmm. apps on Apple's app market. Like they will not, if you're a business on Apple, on app market, they will not let you publish an app on their app system without having a DUNS number. So that's why I tell people to always register for that DUNS number first, right after you create that LLC so you can create you a credit history so say for instance, you need a bank loan or you need a couple of business credit cards down the line, they will check that. If your pay that score is between 80 to 100, you can pretty much yeah, do whatever man. you want. Oh my goodness. I, um, I know a lot of, you, you are correct because a lot of businesses, when they want to do business with you, no matter what type of business they want to do with you, mm -hmm. first thing they'll do, a lot of them, is they'll check that done in Brand Street number, man, and see how good you are. You know, sometimes some people have like 60, 8, 70, but they do have like three categories where it show like, or two, three, that show like it's improving. They'll give an arrow going up or arrow going down. But yeah, so you say, so you say between 80 and 100, you're good. So you're trying to get an 8 and 100 um, report card. Yep, that's an excellent score. And you have it between that, you pretty much can get whatever you want from these how companies. You Think you get Any it up though you get it up by good reviews or something how you think you get it the score up though so the way it works right so once you create that and you create uh basically you're creating a trade line so like say for instance like you go and you buy like some inventory or something right and you get it on a line of credit what you'll do is report that line of credit to dun and bradstreet and that'll be your first trade line and then all you have to do is get that three more times, and then that'll create your pay that store. So once you have three, like a history of three different trade lines created, then you'll get your pay that score. And depending on how good that you're doing with those trade lines, that'll create your pay that score and determine on whether you get that Ooh. one through 100. Man, I'm melting right now, man. Listen, y'all, this some, listen, who talks about? Well, we talking business right here. Listen, before we even go any further, man, tell everybody where to find you at, that, man. Tell everybody where to get in contact with you at if they need you, if they want to see you, whatever you have to provide, man. Uh, all my social media is just that, 345. Instagram, Twitter, TikTok, yep. YouTube, Facebook. Y'all can find all my information that oh, I talk love about. Love it, man. Right love it, man. Question for you, man. Question for you. Do you think, do you think, the the business world or the financial the finance world you think they re do you think they believe in what the less fortunate has to say you think they they be like if the less fortunate because I, I don't like to call them broke right i like to call people you know less fortunate for the time being if they had something to say or anything but do you think these the people in the financial world and the business world they really give to what what the less fortunate has to say what do you think Oh, I think people that are yeah. up there in those offices see the people that are down below as just numbers. So I don't think they really care in a sense about <laughs> what the less fortunate right. think when it comes to like how it's ran. But like as far as like customer service and quality control, I think people do have a say in how these businesses are ran, but ultimately they're going to do what they're going to want to do because we've seen time and time again, where you have like a situation with that company and you know, there'll be a public outcry and either they'll decide to either fix it or they won't. It just depends on what company it is and Damn, what well, the situation I'm is. Loving your answers. You know, listen, if you don't know about me, man, I love controversy, man. I love controversy. And I'm not I'm yeah. not the one that's just going to sit up and be like, yeah, you're right, or agree, or, you know what I'm saying? But you're, you're killing them. You're killing them. No, no, no. I love that. I love that. Um, so Ms. Landon say they want our money. So to a extent, yeah, yeah, that's true. That's true. Um, yep. So I heard you made a statement on, on one of your posts, and it said that, it said that, um, uh, it says something that to the effect that all businesses 
aren't meant to be supported. And so explain that because I'm with you. I'm, I'm, I'm with you, but I, I want everyone to get a perfect, exp perfect explanation from you. Um, perfect explanation from you and just um, elaborate on that for us. So what I mean when I said that is some people like, I, I get everybody wants to have money. Everybody wants to build up a business. But sometimes people have to be realistic and realize when they're over their head. S depending on what they're doing with that business, sometimes it's better to not support your friends when they're doing certain things with their business because you're going to end up hurting them in the long run by thinking what they're doing business-wise is good because you're giving them fake support and fake love. Meanwhile, they're running themselves and their business into the ground. And I've seen that a couple of times where people will like basically support their friend's business because it's their friend. Meanwhile, the way that their friend is running their business is not the way a business should be run at all. So sometimes you just gotta let people drown a little bit so they can realize their bad business practices and what they're doing. Is that Man, no, deep, deep, deep. You heard deep, and, and we don't hear the, we don't hear those kind of conversations or those kind of replies. So that's deep, man. That's deep. So listen, mm -hmm. just how did you how did you get or gain or gather all of your followings in in IG and Facebook? I, I, I'm not saying give out all your secret sauce, and I'm just saying how just how did you how do you gain all those um those loyal supporters, man, and all these platforms, all the platforms based on all of them. You know what I mean? Because you 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 don't you don't it's see because a lot of people have a lot of followers on one platform and not the other. You know what I'm saying? I serve mm -hmm. like myself included, mm -hmm. right? But how did you how did you gather um all your followers on every platform like that, man? Pretty much transitioning over to a uh, certain niche. So like a lot of people that followed me back before I even had a thousand subscribers and stuff know that I used to do video game and tech videos i didn't transition into doing like business content until like two and a half years ago and that's when i found an audience and stuck mm. with it so how i got like my instagram followers youtube subscribers TikTok followers pretty much to like making controversial topics about business pretty much saying the stuff everybody else is afraid to say or like bsing about just like if you look at a lot of my videos that have gone viral, it's basically telling people like someone saying something BS about business and me telling people how love it's it. Love to it. Work. Oh, we on the same block, man. We running the same block. I love it. I love it. Uh, how did you how, tell us? Tell us. Tell us as well. You know what I mean? Um, and I'm not saying spill all your beans, but give us a one on one, man, on how how, how to monetize yourself all your platforms just how to monetize because at the, because i feel like this you know having all the followers but not you know gaining from it financially right that's one thing you know what i mean and then some others have followers and mm -hmm. and, and and they do get you know monetary gain you know what i mean so like which one or which side yeah. of the fence do you want to play Neither, neither is wrong, but one just make a little more sense, man. You know what I mean? Maybe after a while, you know, maybe, yep. maybe you don't start off like that, but maybe yep. after a while, right? So, uh, let that give us a one on one, man, on a one on one on on monetizing yourself or the platforms. So, me personally, I'm of the belief of if you're gonna do this, you might as well do it all. Especially like I, I know people personally that have like a hundred K followers on TikTok, but they're like still working their nine to five job because like they aren't doing anything extra with their followers to like make mm. side money to mm. get away from that. So how I make my money, like I do affiliate marketing. Like if you check my Zizan bio on any of my pages, I have affiliate marketing posts for Webull, NordVPN, and a bunch of other things. And all I do is make videos and guide traffic towards those things. Like from Weeble alone, just getting people to sign up, I probably made over thirty to $40,000 off of just Man. that alone. So 
what people have to do is when you get a bunch of followers and you build a trust with your audience right. because they know that they're not going to get BS by you, just throw your link out there. Like, help people out. Like, a lot of the stuff I got in my ZZM is, a, a, like, a lot of them are affiliate links for side hustles I've tested and tried out, and I just get paid for people signing up and doing the same thing I did in those videos. So I help people get paid, and in return, they help me get paid. Hey, that's, that's, that's the one-on-one -on -one right there. That's the one-on-one. -on -one. But we about to get deep, though, right now. We about to get deep right now. Listen, top three side hustles. What everybody been waiting for, man, the side hustle guru, man. Your best top three side hustles. You got to break us off on this one. You got you got to break us off on this one. Okay, so top three side hustles that I've made money from, one, pretty much affiliate marketing. You got your Amazon FBA, um, your Weibo, my respondent.io. That's pretty mm. much the main mm. bread that I make money off of. Two, I was in a group where we were buying houses with April and B. That made me a lot of money, but I didn't want to like get into real estate. But if people want to get into real estate, like Airbnb, that's a really good side hustle. If you have the attention span and the knowledge to actually do it, I'm probably made like last year, like 25 to 30 K within the first two years of us doing it as a group, pretty much what we would do is we go put up, band our money together, go buy a house, rent out the rooms, right. and we would split the mortgage. That's all you need. All you need is about four or five friends that are willing to collaborate with you. Y'all pull y'all money together, and then all y'all on the lease, mortgage, and y'all just rent it out. And then y'all just split the bills. And then once y'all get to the point where it's basically paying for itself, then all you're getting is profit. My number three side hustle, I wouldn't know what to say number three because... Every other side hustle, those are like my two side hustles that have made me the most money. I think I will say number three would be YouTube. A lot of people don't know, like when you're in a certain niche, you can make a lot of money with YouTube. Because like, say for instance, like, okay, I'm in a business lease, right? Business and news and like entertainment stuff that cover like overall general things. People don't realize those have higher CPMs and RPMs than any other niche because they're safe for advertiser. So if anybody doesn't know what that is, your RPM is like per 1,000 views. Your CPM is per 1,000 ad views. So on certain videos, I can get like $112 for 1,000 views. So if I get like 10,000 views on that video and every one of them watches the ads at the beginning and the end, I can make up to $1,000 off of that one video. My video that has 60K views right now, I made $3,672 off of that one video. And that was just with 60K views. And that's because my CPM and my niche Ooh. is so high. And that's a, a lot of things people don't know when they get into YouTube mm. is that really matters. Dang, boy. You, yeah, that's the break-off session there. That's the break-off session there. Let's transition. My goodness. Hey, listen. Anybody have any questions in the comments, put it in the comments. Everybody out there, listen, we are, this is for y'all. This is for us. Listen, you have any questions, any statements in the comment, throw it in there, you know, while you have them here. I mean, my goodness, it's, it's, it's getting good, man. It's, it's just, ooh, and it's about to get even better. Let me get some apps up in here, man. Let me get some apps. Let me get some apps, please. Let me know or let us know. So three apps, man, the top three apps for making money, man. The top three. We can't forget about those, those apps, man. Mm -hmm. <laughs> top three apps for making <laughs> money right now. I would, hmm. I would say mm. the top three apps to make money with, of course, you got to throw in Amazon FBA if you right. know what you're doing. You can also do drop shipping through like Shopify, but again, you gotta know what you're doing. And the third app that has made me the most money, it will probably be like Respondent. So if you don't know what Respondent is, it's like surveys, like uh, 
But not like those surveys where you like ask her like 50 questions, get paid like two or three dollars. It's like case studies. So basically companies will list what they need. Say for instance, like, okay, for instance, I got paid $150 to do a 30 minute Zoom call talking about a USB mic I um, used when I was streaming. So it was a company called Ditex and basically they were looking to survey people on USB mouses, and all I did was get on a Zoom call, talk to him for thirty minutes, give me one hundred and fifty dollars for PayPal, and that was it. Baby, if um people go, people go look on my video about that. Literally got paid one hundred and seventy five dollars to post a fifteen minute video of me doing laundry and sending it to a company. Yep. Hold up, man. How many people yep. got paid doing laundry, man? Ooh, how many people would love to get paid doing laundry? I'm mean, talking about laundry, y'all. Folding and ooh, and yeah. ooh, sweating sometimes be hot. Laundry. Give me money to do some laundry sometime. My goodness, man. Nah, what's so? What's the name of the app? The third app now? It's it's called Responded. Dot Responded. Dot IO. Yep. It's in my ZZM bio. And if anybody want to check out the video to see pretty much proof of everything I'm talking about, I got a video on my YouTube channel where I show pretty much everything. Okay. That okay. Has to do okay. With it. Ooh. Type it in for us, Dad, man. Type it in for us, man. They got a lot of IOs going on, man. Now, they got a lot of IOs now coming up. What? Everything IO. Everything I see, IO, I'm clicking. Yeah, I need to know, man. What's going on? Hey, so, um, so let's see. Um, Crazy, Sexy, Cool say, how do I start? Now, I know you hear that a lot, man. How do I start? How do I start? How do I start? Some people, some people will ask, how do you start? And they'll wait till you take off. When you leave them behind, they're asking the same mm -hmm. question. How do you start? Not, not saying you crazy, sexy, cool. I'm just saying, in general, right? How do you start? So this information, listen, mm -hmm. we're giving our information. Y'all either use it or, or, or share it. You know what I'm saying? Don't just leave it to the wayside with that is giving out. Because, I mean, how many times are you going to find this here? You know what I'm saying? So that, I mean, I don't know what she's saying. How do you start? Yeah. Then she's saying, do you think TikTok is a good place to start? Yeah, TikTok. Honestly, TikTok is the easiest way to go. Like, as far as if you want to start a YouTube channel, Twitch, any of that, I always tell people start on TikTok first because it is so easy to get followers and go viral on that app because it's such a fast paced app and you can get stuff going. The thing with people who get a lot of followers on like apps like TikTok is I always tell them, you're not going to make that much money on TikTok, like at all, if any. Once you build up a following on TikTok, transition that follower over to another app that's going to make you money like YouTube or if you want to do Twitch gaming or anything like that. But I always tell people, start off with TikTok because that is the easiest app oh, to gain followers. I think, I, I think the, new, the news for today, man, I think I posted as well. I think, um, so, so Kai, we know Kai, you know, one of the famous um, video game video. I think he's on Twitch, I think. They, you know, mm. he, last year, mm. Twitch made he made twi Twitch ten thousand dollars, ten million dollars, but he only got two million though. You, that, yeah, it's a yeah, split. Is, is that split. what do you think? Is that decent? Is that okay? Is that what do you think? Of, what's your take on that? Now I don't even know why I said Twitch. To be honest, because I've made plenty of videos slandering Twitch and what they do. So I would say like video game streaming period, like there are other sites like Kick Out right now where they Whoa. do a ninety ten split. But, but a lot of yeah, on, like, a lot of people on the kick. Uh, uh yeah, they've actually gotten a lot of people on there now because their like terms of service are like more lax than Twitch and they have a better split than Twitch. So there's a lot of like I think Twitch got a lot of rules too now. Okay. Yeah. Okay. They be banning okay. a lot of people. Hey, man, let's have some fun. Even listen, man, I know people. you're in the video games, anime, and all that. What's your favorite anime? What's your because I know. Listen, I know you got a YouTube, and I love it, man, bro. I love what you're doing, man. Keep doing what you're doing. Dad has a YouTube uh video saying the top five black animes, man. You know what I'm saying? And and whoa, look at I'm see. I gotta wait. I gotta wait till I'm like at the house. You know what I'm saying? The dogs put away. Uh, mm -hmm. the wife be gone, and I got to look at it and enjoy myself. You know what I'm saying? I don't know, I'm going to be all the distraction in the kid. You know, I got two year old son off, man. It's going, man, it's all crazy in the house. But I definitely got to watch that, though, man. But listen, 
Um, what's your favorite anime, man? What's your favorite video game, and why? People want to know about you, man. They want to know your personality. Probably right now. Right now, probably One Piece. Probably because of recency bias and the way it's going right now. And favorite video game? Ooh. Yeah. I don't know. I, I, play, I, I play some of everything, right. so it's hard to right. tell. So what are you playing now? Then what are you like, like? What are you into now? Then and what year? What year video game is that? Uh, right now playing like Apex Legends okay. or like Elden Ring. And though Apex came out like twenty fifteen, okay. Elden Ring okay. came out last okay. year. Okay, and you say um, what's the what's the name of the anime again? Sure. One Piece. Yeah, One Piece. Okay. Oh, One Piece. Ooh, listen, y'all gotta check it out, boy, because I'm about to check it out. I'm about to press replay on this here and. Check it out. All right, all right, all right. Listen, controversy time, boy. Hold up. Matter of fact, no, let me, let me time. Controversy time, boy. Yes, sir. Yo, okay, I'm, I'm, hey, I'm serious, y'all. Controversy time. Huh? Cash versus credit score. Cash versus credit score. Hold on. Wait, 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 wait. Before you start, Dad. <laughs> Before you start, I want somebody. In the, in the in the chat to type in the answer, man. Oh, not it's not it's not nobody. It's, I mean, it's not one set answer. But I'm just saying, what are your take on that? You know, what I mean, somebody in the chat. You know, cash versus a good credit score. It's about to get it's about to get juicy right now, man. Anybody, everybody, anybody. I see stacking stocks in the building. One time for stacking stocks. Uh, you know, uh, wacko ko. All y'all, you know, what I'm saying, okay, okay, all right. Credit score. Ooh, Ms. Landa say credit score. Okay. Wait, hello. Let me pronounce that. What is that? How do you say that? Hello. Hello. Okay, hold up. Hello. Do. Listen, that's, 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 listen. That's, that's another, I don't know what language that is right there, but that's good though. I like it. Can't nobody duplicate that. I have an excellent credit score, so I'll choose cash. What's up, dad? Talk to me. I'm I'm probably gonna agree with her on that because like I having a great credit score is good, but me personally, if I have the cash to spend, I'll spend the cash. It depends on what I'm purchasing. Of course, if I'm like buying a house, car, whatever, you know, credit is gonna be king of that. But if I'm doing like minor purchases and my credit score is already perfect, I would take the cash beforehand because like. Me personally, I know like people who are rich and stuff say like credit is king or whatever. I don't like being in debt. Like I hate going to my credit score and seeing that like I have wait, credit wait, card debt. I just hate owing people. It's, okay, all right. I'm saying, hear me out. Is that realistic? It is realistic, but I'm saying, because you know no. why? Because oh, yeah, yeah. generally, majority of America doesn't have a great credit card report. So, so let's let's talk let's talk in general. Let's not talk. But first of all, okay. General. First of all, ice cream ice cream in uh in 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 Spanish. Is you rocking an eight fifty? You know what I'm saying? Come on, now, is you rocking eight fifty? Listen, if you rocking eight fifty, I'm I'm your best friend. I, I got to be your best friend. But what I'm saying is, what I'm saying is, let's talk in general. Average, the av and this is just facts. Okay. I general. mean, the average person, whether you like it, whether I like it or not, does not have a good credit mm -hmm. score and when I'm, I'm talking about good credit score, i'm talking about 700 and better right so let's talk let's talk let's talk realistically yeah. in the united states what are you going to choose cash or are oh. you going to choose credit we ain't talking about some oh i like oh, yeah. i love ice cream. okay i love now, if we're talking in land i need oh, you 800 yeah. rocking are you yeah. listen land come visit me mo you tripping yeah. talk to me dad if we're talking yeah like are they saying they got like 780 or above? Right. Of course, you're gonna choose the credit every single time. Like the average person, like having a great credit score will trump your cash flow every single time because a lot of people are not making enough to where their credit won't matter if they purchase stuff or not. So a lot of people need their credit. Like a lot of people like working regular nine to five jobs, you're not gonna get a house, you're not gonna get a car. You, you might even qualify for an apartment if your credit is bad. So, if we're talking from that sense, then of course you want to choose building that credit every single time, because that can determine a lot on what yeah. your lifestyle is. Yeah, 
but okay, okay, okay. So let's shift it because when we talk about the millionaires and the billionaires, they actually use credit for everything. Mm -hmm. Listen, let me tell you something. My my wife it mm -hmm. does taxes, right? And I was I was using yeah. I was using cash all the time. Like I wasn't I man, I didn't like credit and I knew I knew I can survive the United States without credit. With other whether people believe it or not. It's mm -hmm. possible. People have done it. To get the credit. Even when you want to buy a home, you can go into a private a private community that's privately owned. They don't look at credit. It's it's mm -hmm. private. So you can get a house without credit. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So you can get everything without credit. Mm -hmm. You can live the whole world without credit. But what I'm saying, the millionaires and the billionaires that they use credit for mm -hmm. everything. And what I was finished my statement, my wife was like, listen, you need to stop that and you are gonna stop that using credit. I mean using cash because you you can't have a, a trail like you can't put a trail and when it's time for building taxes you can't get write-offs at all period you got you paying a maximum amount of taxes because you always spending cash or you're not getting cash back if you would want cash back mm -hmm. so she was like you need to, you need to exercise your oh. credit to get cash if you got cash right not forget it but put it to the side i'm gonna let you speak that but what i'm saying is yeah. what i'm saying is the millionaires and the business does you credit for everything because they rather borrow and use other people's money than their own money. And if they do, let's say mm -hmm. they do fall in debt a little bit, then they'll get another loan to top on that loan. They 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 are comfortable with living in debt because they know that's the way the world turns. They're in debt, but they're in a a a a, 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 a how can I say it? they're in a fine debt, like they're in a calculated debt. They know they're in debt for life. But it's good to them because they have yeah, all yeah. that they need and they never ever spend their cash. So it's a calculated debt. It's not a debt like I'm I'm dead tomorrow or my credit is but they living in debt mm -hmm. only because they keep borrowing, borrowing, borrowing. And that's that's their plan. What do you what do you what's your what's your take, man? Yeah. See, I, I get that situation because like they have assets to support that. So if they did fall back on their credit debt or whatever, they have assets they can like give away to, you know, negotiate yeah. that debt down or get rid of it. All from that standpoint, I get what you're saying. But like from my standpoint, I'm not saying like I'm going to always choose cash over credit. But if it's something minor, yeah, I'm gonna choose crash. But like something bigger, like yeah, because like even I like I have where's my wallet? I have nine credit cards, and I use my credit cards to accumulate points to get like free stuff all the time and cash back. But as far as like where I'm at in my life now, sometimes I would choose cash over credit. Yeah. But yeah. Uh, overall, yeah, credit you're gonna want it. Yeah, yeah, and, and but credit. but you know, really okay for me, realistically thinking, I don't know, man. I don't know. I I I, I don't I don't know, man. Because um, like if I were to get a huge huge loan, then um, um yeah yeah yeah, then yeah, man, I would I would start using them cards. I would start using plastic. I would start using. Oh, <laughs> yeah, that's <laughs> big. Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. I would start using plastic. Yeah. And start start. I, what I would start doing that I would start mimicking the best that that have done it or the people that have done it the best. I would start mimicking them, and uh, I I would play it in yeah. that way and try to you know even if I if, if I were to fail, which you know I never have it in my mind, but even if I were to fail, I would always have their plan on how they have done it. You know, but, but um, I don't know, oh, man. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. I guess I guess. We talking about how much cash too? Yeah, yeah. How much? That depends on. I'm gonna too. put in my hand though and see if I'm gonna spend it over credit. I don't know. You know. Hey, hey, yeah, just like she said, it just that's depends true. on what your current lifestyle that's true. is. Yeah, that's true. But yeah, that that woo. Yeah, I don't like, know, man. That's you, woo. We can. Yeah, we can go on forever on that one, man. We do. It's 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 it's, 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 it's uh, it all depends on the person, you know. It's it's for all perspective based. We never know, man. Yeah. You never know. But let everybody know again, man, where to find you at, mm -hmm. man. For those who who have coming in late or whatnot, man, let everybody know where to find you at if they need to find you, yep. if they need to get in contact with you for anything, man. All my links are in the bio. That three four five TikTok, YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, 
everything I have. Dad three four five. Find all the information I'm telling y'all here. In those, Love it, man. Um, Dad, where do you find the motivation, man? I, and I ask that because I'm like, okay, two. It's two part questions. Where do you find the motivation for this, right? Because you're very consistent. Um, unlike a lot of people, I love it, man. You're very consistent. Where do you find the motivation for that, man? And being that said, how long do you think you'll continue to do this? Or let me put it in another perspective. I'm sorry. Where do you see yourself, man, in about a year, between a year and five years, man? I find the motivation because I hate being broke. And two, the second one, I see myself probably doing this for like the rest of my life. Like, I don't like i don't mind working i just would rather not work for somebody but so like as far as me doing this waking up every day creating content trying to get people to sign up for affiliate marketing doing my side hustles or what have you i wouldn't mind doing that for the rest of my life but yeah my motivation is just i like giving people information yeah. and i hate being broke like I, I do not want to go back to like the previous lifestyle I was living. So to avoid that, I, I have no problem getting up every single day, hitting the gym, coming home and getting started on everything I'm getting started on. And I will continue to do that. So I will not have to recede back into that. And hopefully along the way, I can teach some other people and bring some people along with me so I can build me sort of up a group of people that I can have with me to do the same thing and we yeah, can like have a thing. tribe, man. Yeah. Wow. That's the that's wow, the man. ultimate wow. goal. And let's talk about yeah. these stocks, man. How strongly do you feel that these stocks um are in your life as far as generating income, man? How how important is is stocks uh for you, man? Right now, very important because I have like mm -hmm. over a hundred K in stocks right now. So between options, trading, dividends, just doing day trading, stocks is pretty much where I have majority of my savings in right now. Of course, I got like, you know, savings in banks or whatever, but I would rather have my money in something mm -hmm. making money for me. Like I got high APR, like bank accounts, savings, like get three, 4% APR. But as far as like dividends and doing options trading, that can make me more money than just leaving my money in the bank. So stocks play a very important Ooh, role in how love, I make Love it, man. Love it. Do you, do you think a lot of people are like, well, how can I put it? A lot of people are, are informed, are informed and educatedly informed about stocks. What do you think? That's, that's, I, don't, I don't think people are really that informed because of like, how we were raised growing up you know a lot of people were raised go to school go to college get a good job and then you know work for the rest of your life and then you'll be good so like growing up our parents weren't like really pushing you know be like have side hustles you know get into the stock market right. you know savings and bonds and all that stuff so i think like and even in my inbox i get like 10 to 15 people like every couple of days asking me questions about stocks crypto and all type of stuff and that's why I make the videos I make to give people a general understanding of how to get started and what they should look out for because I know there's a lot of people on the internet that are going to tell people hey you should invest in this or you should invest in that but they're not going to give them the knowledge to make an informed decision on whether they want to invest in that or when's a good time to buy, sell, you know, drop out and stuff like that. So I yeah. feel like people need that education. So they will be like, especially like for me, because I don't want nobody to say, hey, he told me to go invest in this and I lost my money. So that's why I always tell people to do your, I will give you advice and give you information on what, what I'm doing but you have to make your own informed decision and do your own research so you're not just like right, blindly right, following right. people. Yeah, man, that, that that stock is a game they don't want us to play. It's definitely don't want us to, at all, like from yeah. jump, like from, from birth, they don't want us to play. But mm -hmm. I, you know what, as far as, as far as giving out education and the knowledge, I feel like it's like 
two or more categories of people. So you got people that's giving out information like go do this, go do that, but they're not they're not giving you the specifics. They're giving you just enough that, right? They give you just enough to do two mm -hmm. things now, to either go to them, of course, they're, they're um, inviting traffic, or for them to go do their own research, but of course they want you to come to them. So they're giving out just enough information, like, or, or that knowledge, like, you need to be doing this, you need to be doing that, and that's it. Like, they won't tell them step by step, right? And so you're right, you know, and, and there's another mm -hmm. group of people that, chooses to take what those people say and deep dive and go deeper right it, i think you feel like you're the, in that category of mm -hmm. people that go deeper and dive and say hey you don't do this or you're just saying don't do this or you're saying this is how you do this right yeah yeah that, that's yeah. what makes you stand apart though yeah no. yeah yeah because the last thing i want people like and anything I tell people or suggest people to do, the last thing mm -hmm. I want them to do is lose money because I know how that is and I know how it is when you lose money and then you have nobody to reference to or talk to you to figure out what you did wrong or how you can get that money back. So that's why I try to focus on like sending people down the most direct and correct path so they don't end up making the same right, mistakes pretty right. much I made. Oh. Listen, I want to shout out everybody on this live, man. Everybody on this live, I want to shout out everybody on this live. Spark the status. I see you making some comments, but you got to put it down on You got to put it down on these comments, man. Oh, man. So, listen, the man said he don't want to see anybody losing money. Ooh, if, if people on faces were saying the you were yeah. saying, man, everybody, everybody <laughs> have something. Everybody would have something, but it takes a special person like yourself. Big up to you, man, no doubt. Question, do you think, uh, do you think people... Do you think people need to face their fears, man, in order to grow? Like, face your fears head on. Because a lot of people have fears of losing money, man. So with them having fears of losing money, it's a trust factor. Yeah. You know, it's hesitation. It's, it's not making the right moves. It's falling and not getting up. Do you think people need to face their fears, man, in order to grow and, and, and become better? Yeah. Like, with that last statement of me saying that I don't want anybody to lose money, People are going to have to come to the realization and be like realistic. Right, right. Y'all are going to lose money. Like, you're like, nobody, not even Warren Buffett has a perfect stock portfolio and trading record. He's lost millions of dollars too before he got that billions he got now. Like, nobody is like omitted from that. We're all going to lose money starting out. But once you get your foot on the ground, you start dabbling in this and that, and you start learning how to actually do what you need to do to get where you need to get, then you can be like, all right, I lost $100 here, but I gained $200. Hey, if I invest in this, I know this stock is probably going to drop down in a couple of weeks or months or years, but I'm going to take that chance on it and maybe it won't. But that's all people got to realize, like, you know, not gonna gain money unless you lose it first. Like even even as when starting businesses, you're gonna be in the hole for a bit before you finally see that first like Airbnb. We were a couple thousand in the hole before and it took a couple months of people renting out them rooms before yeah. we was finally seeing profits. And that's yeah, gonna be with got, anything you do. Got, got, listen, y'all got to come to the realization of that. And I've heard a lot of people say that losing money is your payment. And being in the game that's that's your that's your payment that's your like you paid dues you lost money. have you paid dues yeah because yep. that's your payment of being in the game you have to lose money in order to keep being in this game and thriving and for people to trust you too and for you to get on another level too because listen if you've never lost money how can you go in in the crowd you know and educate them how can how you you've never been through that so you you can't really tell or relate to anyone that is losing money right now. You have to have losing money so you can now educate and tell yep. people, look, I've been there. I've done that. This is how I crept up out the hole. A lot of people ain't saying they done, they done been down and out now. You know what I'm saying? But yep. um, we're here to tell you, man, oh, everybody has lost money, man. Those who talking about it, those who have not. But that's your that's your payment in being in the game. You got to lose money in order to prevail. So I like I like your answer, man. I love your answer, man. What? Well, yep. Yep. You want Take them first couple of lumps, and that's how. That's ultimately how you're gonna learn. <laughs> that's a, that's, yeah, that's the yeah. only way oh, you're gonna man. learn. We, we all trying to do it.
Hey, so what's your advice? What's your advice before we before before eight o'clock hits us on the head, man? Dad, man, what's your advice to those who's trying to seek on money or on their money making journey, or be trying to increase their net worth, uh, increase their financial income? What what advice in general could you give anyone, whether young or mid age, trying to increase their wealth, trying to be financially straight and trying to reach that yellow brick road, the end of the yellow brick road of being financially free. What advice can you give them? I got three. Ooh, see, I didn't ask that. The man is out there. What's up, that? Read. A lot of people don't I, that I've noticed don't really like to read. Pick up a couple of books, financial books, whether you read in articles online or you just like listening to audio books on YouTube, get some type of educa educational information in you because that's going to change your mindset and it's going to evolve the way you think about things because move on to point number two. Along with that, people working like nine to five jobs and stuff, what do they do? They go to work all day, then they be like, okay, I was at work all day, so I'm gonna just come home, play a couple of video games. And then by the time you get to that point, you ready to go to sleep, wake up and do the whole thing over again. Like, if you get into the mindset, you start reading those books about Warren Buffett and Bill Gates and all that and how they got started, or you start listening to educational information online, it'll put you in the mindset of it's, but more to life than this nine to five job I'm working. Like there is more things I can be doing to get away from this nine to five job. And that's another thing people got to start doing too. Stop making your nine to five job your main source of your income. Like always have multiple sources of income. I, a lot of people that I talk to who comes for me for like financial counseling and stuff and I go by the numbers and see where their money coming in and going out, they only got one source of income. So I'm like, when you're complaining about you don't have enough money, like what are you doing to supplement the money that you need to come in? Because you having your nine to five, that nine to five can fire you tomorrow and then you won't have any money coming in. So I always tell people you need to have multiple sources of income just in case one falls off, you will always have something to fall back so on. So that listen, multiple sources of income, that's side hustles, isn't it? That's side hustles. That's yeah, yeah. That's side, hustles. side hustles. Yeah. Oh man. Side hustles. Ooh. Nah, but for you just open my eyes. No, side hustles, man. Multiple streams of income. We talking about side hustles. Oh. Um, yeah. I yo, it it does not matter, man. I used to go to work from nine to six in the afternoon. Get off work, come home, take a shower, and then I'll go do some Uber Eats runs for like two or three hours. Make an extra hundred, hundred fifty dollars. And then that hundred and fifty dollars I made from Uber Eats and stuff, I go throw that into what? another side hustle and start uh, that up. No, like, but you know, all people. But at, at least, at least mentally and emotionally, you feel good about yourself that you didn't let that nine to five run you down mm -hmm. in the dirt. Which mean, I mean to say that is, oh. you didn't let that fatigue you out for the day. You did something extra for the day. You 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 had the nine to five and you put yeah. in a little bit more gas, man. In your in your engine in your tank and did something else you feel good about yourself don't you man yeah because because you like people sitting at home just like you're not going to get from underneath that without doing that extra stuff on top of working like nobody has ever just like quit their nine to five job after not doing nothing that coming home for work and then all of a sudden been rich like those famous youtubers twitch streamers all that were doing that on top of working their nine to five job so people got to realize like you need to, to do that like there's no shortcut in it when it comes to like being financially free and having wealth you need to be doing something on the side in order to get to that point and if you're not, then you just nah, gonna you be gonna stuck at working in the But let's still. not be biased. Let's not be one sided. <laughs> let's not be one sided. Even those who are entrepreneurs and have, man, let me, let me point blank period there, man. I keep saying, those who are mm -hmm. wealthy, 
millionaires and billionaires, they have more than just one. They, first of all, they're not working nine to five, right? They're, they're, mm -hmm. they're either entrepreneurs yeah. or, or business owners, right? But even that, they don't have one, yeah. just one thing they're doing. So let's not only talk about nine to five, let's talk about those yeah. who are entrepreneurs or big, small, big. I can't just be doing that alone. You got to find a step mm -hmm. and a third. Oh, yeah. I'm telling you now, mm -hmm. I, let, let's put that into perspective. You know, we got yeah. that two, three businesses or one business, two side hustles, one business, one side hustle, or one, two side hustles, one business. You feel me? Let's talk about that. Yeah. Yeah, because, like, even if you own, like, a small business or something, and say, for instance, like, right. you sell plants, right? And you have right. your own shop, right? Why would you just do it locally set up an online shop and sell plants online too so not only are you making money locally from walk-ins you're making money from online sales too why not start a youtube channel talking about your plants so you can get income from youtube also why not start a tiktok talking about your plants you can get money from tiktok too and that's what i mean like if you go and do something spread it out just like our, like we're doing right now we're on Instagram right now, building up a following, getting followers. That's going to transition over to YouTube, where we're going to make money from that. It's going to transition over right. from TikTok, where we're going to make money for that. And then, like, all the affiliate links we have in our bios, people going to want to check that out, too. So we might get a man, couple I'm of leads from that. I'm on it. I'm on it. I am on it, man. I'm on it, y'all. And we need, we need to all get on it. I'm telling you, we need to all get on it. Speaking about plants, man, it's 420. What plants you want to talk about that, man? It's 420, man. This we this is four three. What oh, plants? Oh no. Why you said plants? What plants we talking about? Man? <laughs> <laughs> I'm with I'm you look there. Bad with my I'm plant, and that's why. <laughs> nah, definitely. Um, yeah, because uh -huh. come to speak, I'm, we're gonna end soon, right? But um, kind of speak of it, like where I go get my. I, I love working out too, man. As a matter of fact, I love working out myself. Um. Where I go get my protein shakes, man, when you walk in, it's like you thinking, so they paying, so the place they in, they're paying like two grand, you know, a month just to stay in a place. You know, they leasing a, a little, you know, a place. But you thinking, man, how much money do they really make selling like protein shakes? Um, not a lot of people come through. Not a lot, and I'm, you're like, I'm like, I know they don't only got this going on. I know they don't only have this going on. And they probably don't, bro, because Four dollars protein is is not reaching man past even three thousand man you know what I'm saying a month un unfortunately so I know they doing something yeah. else man so we all got to be doing something else man no matter if you're doing nine to five this is what it's about side hustles no matter if you're doing nine to five no matter if you're yeah. an entrepreneur small business you got to be doing multiple multiple things and we talk about multiple streams of income how do you do that multiple hustles multiple hustles. Multiple hustles. I love it, man. I love it, man. I love it. Yep. Man, before we go, man, leave us with something powerful. Leave us with something that'll resonate, man. Um, I know you do it all the time, Dad. And and me asking you all these questions, like you already answer all these questions in your all in your content. So, man, may you continue to be blessed, man. Shout out to you, man. I tip my hat off to you, man, and I am a fan, bro. You got so much content, man. I'm telling you, dogs gotta get out. Children gotta just go to sleep, and I gotta just enjoy myself, man. On the content you create, man. You, hey, you, you see, I put the content where you're like on the, on the, on the, on the school, on the, um, yeah, that, I, you're oh, a content yeah, yeah. creator, man. Yeah, yeah. You, you did that, so I, I enjoy putting yeah. that on the flyer, man. But, um, leave us with something powerful that we can always remember and take with us, other than everything you said, man. Something powerful, uh, take with us. Don't ever give up on what you like. Do not worry about what social media thinks. Do not worry about what the people in your local city think. Do what you want to do and make sure that you're doing it to the full extent and making money from it. It don't matter if you're selling ice cream out the back of your truck. It don't matter if you're selling sandwiches out your car. If you want to do it and that's your side hustle, do it to the full extent and do Period. not worry about what everybody else said. That man, yeah. hey man, this was a pleasure. Uh, 
powerful and potent man oh. and, and i know you young man and you just gonna go so far bro i know it i know it i know it bro you just gonna go so far continue doing what you're doing I'm man trying. and the things about content is that even if you were to stop now which i know you're not you got plenty of good content man you know what i'm saying and the, most of them are relevant and it'll be relevant for years to come so keep doing what you're doing man we love you everybody follow that 345 man Ask him why he say 345 in the DM him, inbox him, man. We have you on time. This is our show. We ain't asking him that. You know what I'm saying? But, yeah, man, much love to you, Dad, man. You have a great one, bro. And stay, man. Hey, your personal number, man. Hey, man, you anything do. you need, like, advice or or, or, or or any help or whatever, you giving out advice. But anything you need, man, you know, we here, man. And definitely, man, I'm, I'm going to follow you on your journey to success, bro. Thank you so much, man. You stay blessed, man. You stay blessed and keep doing it. Love it, man. You too. Same thing. Thank you, man. Thank you. I'm Thank gonna put this on the YouTube on. And, and, and try to get it out to you and everything else, man. You already know, man. Sorry, man. Dad, we love you, man. Right. Thank you so much, man. You have a great night, man. Great night. This man. Appreciate right. it. Everybody you too appreciate it, man. Love, man. Love. Talk to man. you later. Yes. Appreciate everybody. Yes, yes. Who came yes. In. Next week, same thing, man. We got somebody special. Just like that, man. Hey, y'all be good, man. Stay blessed. Everybody have a great night, man. Love y'all. Jeff Investment, Upskill Training Academy. You know.